Uh, this is a poem called, Well, it was just this ordinary moment. Well, it was just this ordinary moment, about this size, about how her legs ran all the way up into her neck. It was the sort of thing a micromini wouldn't let you forget. And how her legs ran and ran and smiled and sang in a sing-song voice. Bet you can't catch me. And I couldn't. Only when she slowed down and allowed me to catch her. And I said, wow, can you run or what? And she grinned and simpered. Oh, can the great big man not catch a wicked woman in a wicked skirt? And I cried, my God, how can you run that fast in heels like those? And the person at the last and found sighed and said, no, no memory like that has been handed in. And I said, are you sure? Can you just check again, please? And the person at the lost and found said and sighed, look, for the last time, if a memory like that had been handed in, I would have definitely rem remembered it. I turned and wept and left. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this is called Chips and Laughter. The knife is pulled out of the back. The poison is spat out and the dead come back to life. They stand before us, joyful, and our joy joins theirs, like waves that crash upon the sands of our senses. And time turns back to the ordinary moment. We stand and clap. These are actors which we have seen before us take their bow, soak up the applause, and dash behind the safety of the curtain that has come down between their world and ours. We enter into the coldness of the night, our breaths like spirits speaking for us. The actors' dreams still clutched like flowers in our numb hands and wander on, drawn now to the lovely laughter of our Ophelia eating chips with Hamlet and his friends. And so, let ends. <laughs> uh, this is called I, Dr I Drink Your Fear. You humans amuse me with your little lives and your great big souls that you are so proud of. I stand beyond soul where time cannot reach. Your physical bodies you are so grounded in, I see nothing of. An ugly compromise of sorts that carries your precious blood. Your blood, all oh, that cries to me, whispers to me of dreams. It speaks to me of longing like a lover would. It offers me its love, the timid tremor of the soul beyond the reach of God. And this is what I drink, your dreams, your wishes, your longing, your soul. I drink your fear that sings invisibly in your blood. Uh, this is called Tea and Ghost. Usually I never leave home without it, but I don't know why. Today it just slipped my mind and I left home without my body. I didn't even take my shadow. I just floated free, free of me, enjoyed being whatever I encountered, a stone, a sea, a cloud, a me that wasn't me, rain or just the falling of rain, but then came full circle and ran into my me again. I had been enjoying being rain, just falling, falling, but then my ghost grabbed hold of me and put me back in my dream, and I awoke to find myself only me again. It was hugely disappointing. I got up and made some tea and toast, chatted with my ghost, who quoted, quoted William Blake, Body is a portion of the soul, discerned by the five senses. I sat there and chewed it over. Yeah, I guess. Then I grabbed my hat and coat and cut my bus. <laughs> this is called being dragged across the, car the carpet by the cat. Yeah, it's a tanker. You fall on the floor. Carefully, I brush you up. Return to your urn. You sit on the mantelpiece, gazing at the setting sun. And finally, E.M. Foster described uh, the poet C.P. Kafafe as a Greek gentleman with a straw hat standing motionless at a slight angle to the universe, which I thought was quite a And this is about his death. Waiting for death, the barbarian. At first, the cancer greedily eats his voice, and then later comes back for him. There are no last words. He dies on the day of his birth. The post's last communication is a circle drawn with a dot at its centre. The Alexandrian sun burns down. The post standing motionless at a slight angle to the universe. Thank you. Thank you.